gonna stare. And so she returns. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. Mm. Legalize. Both. Aren't you gonna get in trouble for wearing that? Worked in the ACT, didn't it? Man, if we went to school up there, I could be smoking a cone right now and the school could do jack all about it. I meant the whole non uniform thing. What are you looking at? Guess you didn't get the memo on the psych ward. Tell me it's not. Casual clothes day? Yeah. Oh, seriously? <sighs> Gotta be better than a straight jacket though, right? <sighs> you couldn't have told me. It's not my fault you're on a social media detox. Don't let her wig you out. I'm going home to change. Look, okay, cool. I'll come with you then. Or you can always wear this. Hmm? No one should wear that. All right, how's this? After school, come back to mine. Me shack, we'll chill, watch movies, play games. Sounds fun. Right. Danny may or may not be there. Mm. Come on, let's go. No, you gotta do it. Ugh, she's like so clueless. I'd rather die. Mm. She tried that already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you imagine coming back with everyone knowing what you did? I mean, honestly, if I was Ingrid, we wouldn't be talking. Ugh, she's such a mole. Such a mole. What is that? <laughs> Never seen one before. No, just not that size. I think it would fit perfect though. Mm. Have we met? I would have remembered. Yeah, she's been kind of like... Just dealing with some health stuff, but I'm all good now. Yeah, yeah, mm. well, yeah. It's good. Sorry. <laughs> um, is that meant to be a joke? Only if you find women's bodies amusing? Surely you could see how some students would find it offensive. See, I like it. It's... <laughs> Don't we have the right to express ourselves? Yes, but that's not what... Well, what about his shirt? That's a political statement. I mean a whore culture. Whore culture. Oh. <sighs> Just take it off. You really disappoint me, miss. I would have thought you'd have the guts to stand up to the patriarchy. Would you like me to get Mr. Mallows? Fine. <gasps> Better? Heaps. I have nothing to be ashamed of. No, you don't. No, not at all, ma'am. Staff room, now. I like her. Okay, so who can name a musician that was underappreciated in their time? Daru, no question about it. God, you're just such an idiot. Um, Ingrid. I wouldn't know, miss. All right, settle down. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna listen to some examples. What about Kurt Cobain? Suicide made him heaps more popular. Wouldn't work for everyone. What are you trying to do, mate? Actually, Nirvana was pretty popular before he did that, so. Uh, what were the 80s like, miss? Oh, 90s, Ruby. Do you think Cobain did it just for the attention? You are so ignorant. Mate, that is it, all right? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? You're in detention. Leave it alone. Leave it. Miss, he didn't start it. Where do you think you're going? Sorry, Miss. Sit. Hi. I'm in control. People care about me. I can rise above. Sorry. Oh, I was. It's, it's fine. I chat to myself all the time. Like, why did I decide to wear this? It's cool, I like it. Trust me, I would know. Oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> you don't have to pretend. I'm not. Ingrid! Either you're mad, constipated. Get out! Not... Now! You're gonna have to come out sooner or later. What are you doing later? Mum's away. Sweet. I'll bring my bong. Not you. I'm sure. I clean the pool. Really? Sweet. Pool party! What are you doing? You don't want it to just be the two of you, do ya? You might want to lock that down. <gasps> oh. Ow! Uh, are you okay? Pool's up. Seriously, mate. <laughs> do you think that's funny, mate? It wasn't me. 
You are such a loser, hurting chick. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you thinking it was me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, terrible at basketball. Do you want to get your head checked, Ingrid? I think you need to get your head checked, honestly, Ruby. Whoa. Just leave it. No, seriously, this is this is ridiculous. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. I swear to God, <laughs> Ingrid. Yeah, demo, demo, demo. Yeah, back, back, back. Oi, what's you doing? Oh, mate, nice try. <laughs> oh, look. Priceless. You gonna jump or what? Shut up, mate. Hey, Gee. have you guys seen Ingrid? It's on the roof. What? Go on, do a flip. You say one more thing like that and I'll... I'll and what? I'll report you. Both of you. Mm. I'm terrified. You should be, because inciting someone to commit suicide is a crime. And going topless in the hallway isn't? It shouldn't be. Well, someone's got to get her down, all right? So you'll get suspended. I don't, I don't care. No, let me, let me, let me do it. You barely know her. I know what she's going through. Do a double. Mate. How many rotations do you reckon you could stick, Ingrid? Shut up, mate. Hey, all right. Seriously, something wrong with you? Come on, Ingrid. We don't have all day. Uh, I can't Ingrid. watch. <laughs> What's Celeste doing? Look how small they all look. Come on, show the patriarchy who's boss. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> can I help you? Just here for the suicide pact. Do me a favour and go patronise someone else. You shouldn't be afraid to talk about your mental health. And what would you know? Why do you think I left my old school? Did everyone there hate you as well? No. Just 99% of the population. Go on! Come on, all of you, inside now! Miss, we're halfway through our game. Not anymore, you're not. Give me the ball. Come hey, on. Miss, if she jumps, we get the rest of the day off, right? That's enough. Inside. <laughs> You too. The universe is like, it's like yin and yang. Most people suck, yeah. But then sometimes you get people who are really special. So you can't have one without the other. Wow, you should put that on a poster. Oh, totally. It's tattoo goals. Ugh, don't even get me started. Do I want to know? No. Ingrid, are you okay? You know that the roof is out of bounds. Uh, it's my fault, miss. What? Yeah, I uh, dared Ingrid to get an aerial shot of the yard for a video I'm making. Can I say it? I, uh, I just left my phone in my locker. That's where we we're going. Right, and this is the official version of events then? Yep. I guess I'll have to put you both under tension. Come on. Okay, enough. Sorry, I'm just trying to express myself. Quiet. Miss, how much longer do you reckon we'll be in here? Well, you just got here, so another 55 minutes. Oh, hope you're getting paid overtime. That is none of your business. That's a no. I don't do this job for the money. Why do you do it then, miss? Because I love to see all of you delightful children every day. <laughs> Said the priest to the choir boy. That is offensive. You just want to ban any statements that we make, don't you? Would you prefer me to sit here in silence? Ideally. That's you know what? Keep talking and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Oh, come on, that's bull. Finish your English assignment. Miss, how do you spell oppression? Okay, explain. Haven't you ever savoured your freedom? Not everyone's as lucky as us, you know. Was everyone at your old school so... Enlightened? Passionate? Yeah, sure. I mean, they were passionate about AFL, getting wrecked every weekend. Surely there's someone you miss from your old school? My music teacher was a lot better. Mm. I didn't have a braid in there, if that's what you're getting at. That's why. One in a million, babes. <laughs> All natural. No, no, we're not together really? or anything. That's it. Ah, she's way out of my league. No argument there. So, you coming to Saffron's pool party? 
Mm. Slash, you're going to be there, right? Yeah. Meet all the boys? Sure. Why not? Awesome. Yeah. Lovely. Steady on. Too much? I could smell it from the house. Yeah, right. Hey, are you going somewhere? What's it to you? Can't I show an interest? There's only one thing you're interested in, so just ask it. Okay. How did Ingrid get on? You know, first day back and everything. Hmm, let me think. You should ask her yourself. God, what's the big deal? See, you're my sister. Oh, don't remind so me. So I don't want to know about all these little flings. Hey, Ingrid wasn't a... Ah, uh, see, I don't give her stuff, so... Can you at least tell me if she's okay? Well, she's coming to the party, isn't she? Oh, hence your weekly shower. I guess she'll call me when she's ready. You always this clingy? Nice. You know, you should probably spray on a bit more. Really? Oh, why can't I be like everyone else? Mm, yeah, good question. It's like he gets off on saying no to absolutely everything. <sighs> Dad's just worried about you, okay? I can't even have friends now. Not all friends are good influence, are they? Don't start that again. Well, Mum needs your help. Die? Apparently I'm not even allowed to go to my friend's house to study. Really? Oh. Study? Oh, shut up. You don't know Saffron. She gets, like, straight A's. Let then go. But I thought he said... Your dad just doesn't want you hanging around with... Are the people who get you into trouble again? Yeah, I know. But Saffron sounds like she's responsible. Oh, I can't. It's raspberry. You can help me taste the vodka. No, really, I'm good. Is it cause of your busted liver? Well, for me then. Seriously? What are you even doing here? Just hanging out with my friends. Oh, uh, who were they again? Hey. They're not all for me. Watch that, not poison. Um, I was just gonna ask, like, do you know what brand this cracker is? It's cheese. Okay. Have fun. You have to eat ethically, you know? Mm hmm Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> what, just the two of us? Yeah. I mean, unless you want to invite the sociopath. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Go for it! Right. I'm going to kill we you! We are soaking wet! Whoa, too much information. I'm gonna go dry off. Thanks a lot. What are we doing? Just keep your eyes closed. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay, and open them. <laughs> I found it when I was looking for Saffron's hair dryer. Explains the whole Stepford Wives thing she's got going on, doesn't it? No, oh, come on, there's more to Saffron than that. And plus, you shouldn't be looking through other people's things. Believe me, you do not want to see what was in her other drawer. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, so now you're interested. So what if I am? Wouldn't want to get caught. Anyone could walk in. Yeah, like who? Yeah, like Brayden. Never seems to let you out of his sight. I thought we already went through this. There's nothing going on between me and Brayden. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Not exactly into guys. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Like, there was me thinking you saved his firstborn from drowning or something. <laughs> What's with all the braiding questions anyway? Just interested in people. People, sure. Maybe someone in particular. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you gotta admit it. He's Kind of cute. What? Yeah, I mean, like, Brayden has to take a look at some of his really toxic biases, no question, but he's pretty funny. Yep, he's a real joker. 
Don't you want to see the rest? No, I'm good. You think that's full of skills, mate? You've seen nothing yet. Harry's with me. No way, that's not fair. Saffron can be in your team. Yeah, no thanks. You sure you don't want to play? I'm fine just watching. The water looks freezing. How can we cope without her? What about guys versus girls? Typical male arrogance. So, what are the rules again? Hey, do you want to go chill somewhere? You don't let the ball hit the water. It's pretty simple. You start by double hitting it, but pushing, oh, carrying. Oh, you just love mansplaining, don't let you? Let him finish. I'd like to know. Typical. What's that supposed to mean? Heidi. Can't just play, you gotta play perfectly. You're being ridiculous. Well, I'm being ridiculous. <laughs> Ow! She should get a point for that, surely. <laughs> Can we just play? I think your girlfriend's left. My sister bought in Milan. What do you think? Yeah, it looks great on you. Careful, wouldn't want to have to pump your stomach. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Hey Ingrid, tell me, what's it like being in a room without any sharp objects at all? <laughs> Mate, do you ever shut up? Didn't realise you were kissing Ingrid last year. Oh, you think you're so clever, don't you? With your little snide remarks, just shut up, alright, mate? A little bit of sensitivity Keep going. wouldn't hurt, would it, alright? Please. What are you just don't do? worry about it, Ingrid. Just shut up. What are you gonna do about it? He's just saying what everyone's thinking. It's not like she's gonna be around much longer. Okay, enough. So you know what I did to myself. So what? Imagine what I'd like to do to you. Ooh, is that a threat? Actually, yeah. I hope they do refunds in pizza country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill her. I'm actually going to do it this time. You shouldn't say things like that. Yeah. No, maybe you're right. I'll wait and she can just do it herself. She was just defending herself. Poor defenseless Ingrid. Please. You don't know her. Yeah, I actually do though. Oh, so you're okay with what she did to Harry? Like, wrecked his life. Everyone makes mistakes. But we can't call Ingrid out for hers, can we? Put this on. Little help? Or are you just like everybody else? two sides to every story, you know. Okay. So tell me. Like you'd listen. Maybe I'll surprise you. <sighs> Forget it. Whatever. Surprised Ruby didn't sock Ingrid in the eye after that. Because <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Why do you always defend her, man? Because she doesn't deserve it. Yes, she does, in case you forgot. Mate, honestly, just imagine this. You wore her down and she finally, you know, goes through with it. How would you feel then? Tell me the truth. Whatever. You're just cooked, honestly. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Hope you gave him a piece of your mind. <sighs> Big time. Yeah, what do you know? Not every guy in this town is an ignoramus. I would never ignore an anus. Sorry, I must still have water in my ear. <laughs> and there was me about to ask if you wanted to hang some time. Hmm? Oh, don't suppose you're accustomed to being asked out by a girl? No, I am. All the time. Ingrid knows. Tell her about it. Yep. So, when are you going to do it? <laughs> well, I've got a Blue Bay Up tournament this weekend, so just keep that in mind. So, how was studying? Got there in the end. Right. But you didn't even bring your books with you. It was a long walk. I used saffrons. Mm, right. Has someone been in here? A little too old for the tooth fairy, aren't you? It's not funny. I need them. What for? <laughs> you get what happened, right? The first step in fixing a problem is acknowledging it. So what? You 
did something dumb. Yeah, really, really dumb, but intentionally. Didn't manage to sell them then. It's not the reason why I took them. No, you just wanted to mess with me. No, I was reading about it online. Why? It's how you learn. You should try that sometime. It's fine, it's my prescription. So what, I don't get to know what you're dealing with? Have you tried asking? Well, yeah, cause you totally tell me. It's not your problem. Well, you're my sister, so... The big clip? Thanks. No worries. What's up? Nothing. Pizza or laser tag? For what? To take Celeste on a date. <laughs> Do you know her at all? She's into, like, art and culture and she's all sophisticated. Right, so pizza. Mm, yes, the height of fine dining. Well, they do pasta as well, so... Yo, Celeste. Hmm? Hey! What are you up to tonight? Ah, uh, seeking some friends. Rejected. Shut Bye. up. I was wondering if you guys were up to hang. Oh, uh, um, it's probably not really your scene. Uh, and you know, guys isn't very inclusive. Right, um, that's fine. It's cool. That's, uh, it's whatever. That was painful. Was it? Just let him down gently, okay? Why would I do that? You're actually interested in him? Yo, Bray! Uh, I could probably fit you in before I see my friends, if you like. Yeah, sweet. Whatever. Cool. You can't go to a birthday party in jeans. Oh, well, but what if it's my birthday party? Well, you're gonna thank me one day. <laughs> I thought your parents were cool with you being gay. Yeah, they were. They are, but, you know, being gay and shopping in the men's section are two completely different situations for my mother. Mm. So you're really gonna get rid of all this stuff? Yep. Bad memories. Gee, who got you this? I'll give you three guesses. Ew. I mean, it's yours if you want it. It's like definitely your style. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What? Seems like a bit of a waste, that's all. Yeah, well, sometimes you just gotta let things go. Mm-hmm. You don't fancy coming clubbing, do you? Oh no, I left my glow sticks at home. Have you ever been? Yeah, the whole weird Foot guy thing? Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm into a gay club. <laughs> Do you want to maybe come with me? I don't know. We could dance. Could be fun. What would I wear? <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> well... I've got a date tonight. Oh, I didn't know Ed was back. With a cheek. Ingrid, tell her about Celeste. She does exist. But... <laughs> well, come on, there's got to be something wrong with her. I mean, she's artsy, a little bit gothic, and pretty smart. And insane. Look, did you come down here for a reason? My box of clothes. There's really cute stuff in there, I promise. It's... Hey! Ha! Ah. Why is it open? See, she's just angry now because no one's into her anymore, so. I mean, she kind of has a point though, Celeste. Why not Celeste? You don't really seem like her type. Of course I am. What chick doesn't love a guy with muscles? Mm, artsy types, militant feminists. I feel like Celeste would be more into someone who was edgy and mature, deep and thoughtful. And what, that's not me? Seems busy. What do you expect? Friday night is when it all happens. Do you know anyone who's going to be here? Ah, uh, yeah, a few. Is there going to be anywhere quiet to sit? Maybe a toilet cubicle? 
come on, we're here to dance. Don't you want to get food or something? If I do, I won't be able to move. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna have fun, I promise. Yeah, I know. It's just like blood sugar and all that. Hey. I've got you. Okay? about the whole not just wanting to be friends thing? Yeah, yeah, we're friends. Like, just friends? Maybe this was a bad idea. You're gonna meet so many new people. I guess. What do you want? I don't know, more? Huh? To drink. You choose. Just you and me. I like your hair. It's always fun to try new things. First time? No. Careful. It gets pretty rowdy after midnight. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. A girl asked me to top her tonight, even if I look like a total pillow princess. I'm definitely not. I'll see you later, yeah? That was quick. What do you mean? That girl. Do you know her? I think she'd rather get to know you. What? Really? Well, I didn't think you'd be into these guys. Who? Velvet above ground. Underground. Velvet underground. Ah, oh, Edward Scissorhands let you live then. God damn it. Oh, wow. A joke about his style, huh? You're so clever. How did I know you'd be the type of person to judge someone on their appearance? Having a good time there? Sorry, babe, not everyone's as cultured as me. Oh, no, yeah, that's Brayden, all right. Real deep and thoughtful. Mm, it is. Mm. He uh, writes about some pretty dark stuff. Got a few demons, don't you? Read one of your poems. You write poetry? No, what? No. Ah, oh, come on, don't be shy. He made someone cry music once. It doesn't count. I'd love to hear one of your poems. <sighs> oh, no. Nah. It's too, too soon, too tragic. My granddad died in war. They need to put a stop to that war business, I reckon. Yeah. How old was he? Um, young. Fairly young. Tragic. If so, he'd be. <laughs> right. And how old's your mum? Um. Because the war ended in 1945. Sure. Well. <sighs> No, 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 I meant Nam. I, it was, I meant Nam. I didn't ask to hang out with you so you could pretend to care about important things. I wasn't pretending. There's only one thing worse than someone who's ignorant. Someone who's dishonest. S Celeste. <laughs> Could you, Ruby? It's not my fault she's so touchy. Just let, just let me explain. What's the point, Brayden? Oh, come on. Hi. 
You can't judge these two times. Oh, Beauty makes you want to. Hey, when you looking for her? No. Nah. Uh, let's just go home. That's not what you said before. Well, it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Halloween yet, mate. Was well, your face so scary then? <laughs> hmm. Did you lose a bed or something? Hey, I don't feel so great. Did you drink too much? No. <laughs> I'm saying that to you, Paul. Nah, I get that. You have one, two, then a six pack. They all go missing. And then you do something fully cooked. Do you need someone to look after you? She's okay. I'll call you. Why? Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Come on, let's go. Now? Trust me. Don't you just love this song? <laughs> this is really important. I think your girlfriend wants you to leave. I'll just be in one minute. Pretty she's a sterile. Yeah, she's not the only one. So what? I exaggerated a little bit. Shoot me. Yeah, and there was me thinking I would never reconsider my stance on gun ownership. Gee, oh, sorry for trying. A little too hard, mate. You know, it's not my fault I've never been on a on a date before. I'm shocked. Well, it's you know, you're so I'm so we're different. Yeah. What was I supposed to do? Invite you back to my shack to play video games? Depends. You any good? Serious? You haven't seen me with an energy sword. But I thought chicks hate gaming. Might want to try to be more inclusive next time, Brayden. Next time? What's wrong? You're welcome. For what? Rescuing you? Listen, I was doing just fine in that. Yeah? The girl was being super pushy. No, she wasn't. Oh, I've seen her around. And? She's with someone new every week. Really? You're gonna slut shame? No, I'm just red flagging. Like, you know, is she really what you're looking for? Oh, I am literally so confused right now. You just told me you only wanted to be friends. Like, why did you even bring me here? So you could have a good time. I was having a good time. Great! Excellent! So then... Do you want to go get something to eat? I could murder a bargee. Can't dance in a full stomach. It's getting kind of late though. So? With your parents? They'll worry. They think I'm staying with Saffron. Why do you want to leave all of a sudden? I'm just... Done. Is that really it? Well, then that's on you, isn't it? Give me a break. Maybe her family needs the money. Doubt it. Pretty sure she's just. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh, so sexist. As if they think that'll appeal to girls. Absolutely not. Kind of might though. Hmm. Don't you just want to tear it down? Yeah. Part of me does, but some might see it as empowering. Huh. Hey, relax. Personally, I would never step foot in there. You don't go clubbing much? Hardly ever. Have you ever been to... Hey, yo! Oh. What time are you coming over? Oh, uh, actually, I've got some things to do first. Oh, yeah, no, cool. Um, me too, so. Yeah, no, cool, whenever. It's just some self-care stuff. Y you know the feeling of going home, relaxing, taking off your bra, hopping into a bath after a long day? Yeah, set the sisters free. That's what I always say anyway. <laughs> I'll see you later. See ya. Look forward to it. Oh, stop drooling. Oh, me? I'm not. You're drooling too. Ew. Come on. Come with me. I need your opinion on something. Where are you taking me? Oh, yeah. 
Is that not the schmickest bling you have ever seen? Isn't that kind of expensive? Yeah, well, I have the cash, so. Sold some eighth graders an ounce. Three times what I paid for it. Half of it's catnip, idiots. Right, well, what if you and Celeste don't work out? Why wouldn't we work out? Why don't you go to that instead? That one? It's not even real silver. The price isn't important, it's about what it represents. She'll be into it, trust me. Thanks, Ingrid. You champ. Dude, that was me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, hey, you. Hi. You got something for you? Oh, thanks, but I already ate. <laughs> Give it to her later. Oh, don't worry, I will. <laughs> this. Oh, is that for me? Well, it's a bit big for the cat, so. <laughs> How did you know that I like being in Yang? It's beautiful. <laughs> Try it on. Brayden, you're choking me. Sorry, Ingrid, can you? Oh. It's all about taking the good with the bad. Dualism. You just really surprised me, you know? Well, I surprise myself sometimes, so... I'm gonna get a drink if anyone wants anything. Like, it's so thoughtful. Oh, yeah. Hey! I, uh, I heard you were around. Yeah, hi. Uh, going out? Uh, yeah, I'm going, um, to go meet a friend. Right. Hey, look, can, um, can we just forget about the other night? Mm-hmm. I didn't mean to get all, like... No, it actually wasn't you. Um, I kind of saw someone there and it threw me. Oh, good for you. No, not like that. It was Celeste. I saw Celeste there. Like, Brayden Celeste. Oh, that's good. That's priceless. Mm -hmm. It's an Italian dish. It's bread, beans, cheese. It's gourmet. You're going to love it. I'm just not sure you've grasped what vegan actually means. Hey, stranger. Oh, Celeste, meet Danny, my sister. Hi. Best of tomorrow. Mm. You're actually, you're actually really familiar. Have we met somewhere before? Were you at the Women's March? No, I was thinking more QQ2. That's probably it. <laughs> it's a club. Oh yeah, no, I know, I go, I go club and hips. It's a gay club. Wait, what? See yous. Um, just grab your Oh, were you deliberately trying to shoot me? I thought you played for the other team, so... <laughs> it's getting a bit frosty in here. I've got a shirt. It's plaid. Do you like plaid? Plaid's fine. Just do this. Real quick. Yeah, just like that. Uh. Hey, is this some kind of fetish you want to tell no, me about? No, believe me, I'm not into hairy chicks. <laughs> right, but there's nothing wrong with choosing not to conform to male-imposed beauty standards, yeah? I am Mr Beauty Standards. Is there something you want to ask me? Who's Sam? Been doing a bit of cyber stalking, have we? Well, just browsing, and I've left a fair bit of comments, so. We used to go out. Yeah, so is it a girl guy? Okay, let's see if I can simplify this for you. Yeah, I have dated people who identify as different genders. I believe sexuality is a spectrum. Amen to that. Pink lemonade, anyone? Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna be rude to ask my Nicholas back. I think I used to have one just like this. It, it's just not me. <laughs> ah, it looks good on you. Like, really good. What do you want on your pizza? Screw that, I'm not hungry. That is the first time I've ever heard you say that. I'm actually gonna hit it. <laughs> yeah, good call. Shame I can't come, but maybe next time. Um, can I talk to you privately for a second? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> um, so I noticed, you know, in that you were kind of touching my shirt and you were flirting and I just, I wanted to make it clear that I didn't want to egg you on or anything because... Oh, no, no, no. 
Sorry, I, I was kidding. I was really just trying to wind up Brayden. <laughs> huh. Healthy. Hey, so what were you, what were you doing at QQ2? It's none of your business. It's kind of my brother's though, isn't it? Maybe, but that's between us. Sure, whatever. <laughs> um, just so we're clear, um, just because I like people of any gender or not, you and me, is never gonna happen. <laughs> Skate park. I don't skate. Burgers. Just ate. You come up with something then, because I don't want to stay here. Oh, you're not so keen on Celeste anymore. I just need some space, all right? Why is that? Because unlike you, I know when I'm barking up the wrong tree. Mm. What about the mini golf place? Hey, okay, I'm so there. That sounds so good. Seriously, Saffron could use our help. She's stuck with Ruby right now. Mini golf's fun. Yeah, what, if you're like 12 years old? Isn't that your mental age anyway? Why are we friends again? Mmm, free ice creams? Seriously, this close to being fired. I think they're noticing. Oh, please, what do you have to lose? Hmm, he's just scared of getting beat by a girl. Try having Danny as your sister who literally did beat me. <laughs> you probably deserved it. What's wrong? Whatever, we'll play your stupid mini golf. Yay! <laughs> What's wrong with him? I don't know where to start. She's getting the silent treatment. She's not. Mm, yeah, you were punching anyway. Yeah, well, it was never gonna happen. Yeah, no kidding. She's bi. Sexual? No, bifocal, you idiot. We all know that's just a stop to leisure station, don't we? <laughs> yeah, because you're the expert on sexuality, Mr. V-Man. Well, we can't all be the town bike, can we, Ruby? Turned you down. People do dumb stuff when they drink. Nah, that's just an excuse. Good chat, really good chat. Bye means bye, Brayden. Okay, bye. <laughs> that's, that's not it. Go on, guys. <laughs> Trying to teach Celeste how to swing properly. Oh no, Celeste knows how to swing, I reckon. Just be gentle next time, okay? Don't send it flying onto the next green. Hey. It's my first time. Any hell's a goal, am I right? Is this because of what we talked about earlier? No, absolutely not, I'm, I'm cool with it, you know? Obviously it is. What did I what did I say? Sometimes. Hey, are you upset with Brayden? Him? No. Myself? <laughs> I should have known he'd react like this. I'm sure I didn't mean it. Right and anyone can see that he can't handle the fact I'm bi. He thinks I'm just gonna hook up with anyone. The only person he wants you to hook up with is him, believe me. <laughs> what was I thinking? Come on, everyone can be an idiot sometimes. <laughs> All right, Brayden is an idiot most of the time, <laughs> but it's only because he likes you so much. He has a very odd way of showing it. I mean, he did get you that necklace. How is it? He is so annoying one minute. 
And then the next, he's like, it's like interesting, you know? Beats me. You didn't tell him, did you? About our chat? Nothing specific. Level with me. Did he really pick out that necklace? Or? Who's winning? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> well, can you just not come back in? Yeah. I mean, the night's still young. Might be able to score some numbers. Saffron's cute. Be cool. Look, I've just never really been out with a bi girl before. How would you know? Because I've never really had a girl. No surprise. This is how you react. It's just hard, you know? You know, the whole club thing, Danny. That's I thought you were into me. That shouldn't matter. I just want you to be straight with me. Isn't that the truth? You know, I really like you and stuff, and I don't want to screw it up. Then stop screwing it up. You know, Yang, take the good with the bad, right? Hmm. Look, I'd do anything for a second chance. I'd take my top off, I'd eat a golf ball. Can you just stop talking? Look, I probably can't. <laughs> why it is important to wear a condom even if both partners appear to be STI free. Oh, thank God, I'm starving. Uh, okay, everyone, grab your bananas because we are going to learn how to put a condom on today. Oh. <laughs> Brayden! <laughs> well, I just wanted to make sure it would fit me peck out. What about same-sex couples, miss? What do they have to look out for? Great question. You can learn all about that in the booklet that I'm going to give you after class. It has lots of comprehensive information. Well, why don't you just tell us now? Are you embarrassed? It's all in the booklet. It's funny that in a sex education class, we haven't heard one word about consent, oh, come on, sexuality, man. pleasure, or abortion. Okay, that's enough. Why are you even taking this class if you are so uncomfortable? <laughs> what do you tell gay kids? And young women who are constantly subjected to the sexual advances of men who haven't been taught the first thing about the meaning of consent. Now is not the time. When is, miss? Because I refuse to take part in a sex ed class that ignores the main issues. <laughs> that class was awesome. By awesome, you mean disgusting, No, right? check this out. <laughs> No amount of free condoms is going to fix a broken sex ed program. Should see us through the weekend, though. What do you want Jade to do? She has to teach the curriculum. It's not her fault the booklet's lame. Is that really good enough for you? I'm just glad it's over. And that's the thing. No one cares. Jade should have told us about the full spectrum of sexuality. Don't you want to have smarter and safer sex? Vegas can't be choosers. What are you getting at? I want your help. We, the undersigned, demand more progressive and inclusive sex ed classes. Do you really think a petition is the answer? Yeah. I mean, we take it around the school, get a bunch of signatures, I'll type it up and then we present it to Jade. Then she'll have to listen to us. Who's gonna sign that? Yeah. I will. You agree it's important, right? Sure. So, will you help me? So, this petition demands that we are given a more inclusive and progressive sex education. Seriously, Brayden, leave me alone. Just sign the petition and I will. Do you want me to shove that pin with a sun, don't you? See, this is why we need better sex ed. Huh? Yo, Jack, what's up, dude? Hi, excuse me. This is your opportunity to be on the right side of history. Like, if you don't sign it one day, you might look back and go, oh, gee, wish I had been part of that inspiring movement. I'm not signing it. Oh, come on, Ruby, you don't even know what it's for yet. And I don't care. It's a petition to get rid of school uniforms. Really? Hey, guys, you don't want to miss out on this. This is your chance to do something really important.
Trust me, there's nothing hotter than a guy who's aware of social issues. What's your number? Keep the pen. I warned you. What would Saffron think, huh? Thank you. Promise me you haven't forged any of these signatures. I swear on my old dog Bobber's grave that these are all 100% legit. What about you? <sighs> Only two signatures? Brayden and I managed to get two pages worth. Two is better than none, right? You haven't even signed it yourself. Babe, it's not her fault she's not as charismatic as some of us. Guess not. Like the petition's gonna work anyway. Jade might deny me, but she can't deny the will of the people. Okay, so what do you want me to do with this? Take it to the principal or the education department? Or the president? <laughs> okay, um, I love your enthusiasm, but there is only a limited amount of time we can actually spend on this in class. But the people have spoken, miss. I understand, but we're at school, not in a democracy. So much work needs to be done. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realise you were such an advocate for LGBT women's rights. I've been a feminist since the day I've come out of me mum's crap, Look, miss. Sex education might simply be a box you need to tick off on the school's curriculum, miss. But for us students who don't get to walk away from the rape culture and the homophobia, this is a serious issue. There's nothing I can do. Now go. Come on, scoot, out, yeah, go on, goodbye. You are a patriarchal collaborator, miss. This isn't over. Yeah, 420. Well, I guess that's that. I can't believe this. Who does Jade think she is? You could always stage a mass protest. <laughs> oh my God, Ingrid. I could kiss you right now, you're a genius. Come on, Brayden, we need to organize. Good one. All right, Oliver. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Julia. Yeah. Thank you. Ruby. Yeah. Great. Ingrid. Yeah. Excellent. Celeste. Anybody seen Celeste? No? Okay. All right. Alex. Attention students. Oh. Today we're here to demand inclusive and progressive sex education for all. No. Sit down, you guys. Uh-uh, um, where do you think you're going? Two, four, six, eight, better six, it would be great. Two, four, six, eight, teach us how to master. Everyone, come join us as we protest for the sex education curriculum we both need and deserve. What about queer students? Oh, I knew it. He's an ally. You all can be. Especially us straight students. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You've never been straighter, Brayden. Ruby, I know you've signed the petition. Come, join us. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I certainly haven't signed this petition. What? Brayden made me sign something, it was about casual dress. Did you trick people into signing? I thought it would be creative. If you <sighs> want people to join your protest, don't lie to them. It makes you seem gross. Ingrid, come, help us. Please. Ingrid. Why didn't you come out and support us, huh? I don't know. This was our one chance to fix something that's broken in this school and all you could do was hide in class like a coward. Don't you dare call me a coward. Oh, I'm wrong, am I? I'm not even out to my parents yet. I can't exactly be the poster child of gay rights. What if someone took a photo and posted it? I just wanted to know I could count on you. Celeste. I'm not going to apologise for that protest. Just chill, all right? Just chill. Look, this isn't the school's view or Mrs O'Brien's, but between you and me, I really admire you for what you did. You stood up for something that you believe in. You should be proud of yourself. Didn't work, though, did it? Well, actually, I've had a chat to the principal and you've been given approval to start an after-school LGBTI plus group. Seriously? Of course I would, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and with your cooperation, we'll consult with the group on the sex education curriculum. Ah, yes, oh my God, that is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. We won't let you down. However, to make it all official, we do need you to sign at least two members. Okay. What? Oh no, so, so, 
Sorry, miss, I'm not, you know. It's the least you can do. Sign me up. Consider it done. See what happens when you stand up for something? Four twenty. I can't believe I got this for such a bargain. I can. Price tag's still on it. Can I see it for a sec? Just what I thought. It's only cheap because it's made by children in third world countries that get paid like 10 cents an hour. You are literally supporting child abuse. Shame on you, Ingrid. And since when did you care? I like kids. Not in that way. And animal farming is why local meat is so cheap. Get this, almost 200,000 cattle are slaughtered each week in Australia. And that's not right either. And where do you think your delicious pepperoni pizza comes from? Oh, but like, I'm only having a slice or two, Frank. Well, that slice or two was once a living creature. Happy? Wasting food is even worse. What'd the animal die for? Nothing. Oh, babe, come on. No! <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> oh my god. I think this is my favourite flavour. Ever? Mm hmm. It's done really well. What did you get? Brownie, I think. Nut free, gluten free, paleo. Mm -hmm. So, Thanks. what's in it then? Is it good? So good. You should, you should have some. I'll stick to ice cream, thanks. What, and let all those dairy cows suffer? Yeah, we have to do our part to make the world a better place. Yeah, Ingrid, do better. Yeah, right, okay. What about those? These? What about them? No doubt produced in some third world sweatshop. No, not these, these just a bomb. You don't know for sure though, do you? She's right, you know. What am I gonna do, throw them out? <laughs> that would certainly make a statement. I couldn't agree more. Are you guys joking? By boycotting sweatshop products, you are sending a message that you're not afraid to stick by your principles. Seriously? Ow! Ah, slow down, guys. Guess you now know how those kids in the third world feel. Yeah, right. I better go use the Wiz Palace holder. You know, we spent weeks saving up for those shoes, right? So? He even did extra jobs on the weekend. What's your point? He earns every dollar he spends. Yeah, and he spends every dollar he earns. Only because he's trying to keep up with your elitist expectations. Excuse me? You heard me, you judge him for every little thing he does. What he eats, what he wears. Does that seem like ethical behavior to you? He makes his own decisions. I can only make suggestions. No, actually you shame and judge him. And not only do you make him feel like crap, he's now thrown out a perfectly good pair of shoes. How's that gonna be good for the environment? Have you guys ever noticed how wet Dunny floors are? <laughs> you look like you're really suffering. Oh, you've got no idea. Babe, give us a quick rub. What do you reckon? No, oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Really? No, get away. She doesn't normally refuse. <laughs> hey, you and me, we're going to have a little talk later. It's just a joke. Do you want to play a video game? Really? I thought most developers work crazy hours and got exploited. Are they? Sure. We should probably give it a miss then. <sighs> I see what you're doing. It's not my fault that everything's either offensive or exploitative or both. It's not my fault you don't care where your clothes come from. Ugh. Happy? Hey! Ooh. You want to inspect the rest of my clothing labels as well? No need. I already made my point. Right. Coming from the girl who stripped down in the middle of the school for exactly what reason? That was different. All I know is your boyfriend's sitting here with blisters on his feet because you seem to take issue with every single shoe company in the entire world. Oh, babe, just sit down. Let's play a video game. We can't. It'd violate her principles. See you later, Brendan. Cheers, Ingrid. What? She brought it on herself. Seriously, these days you have, like, no chill. She must be the most irritating person I've ever met. Yeah, well, she's my girlfriend, so... So, doesn't mean I have to bow down to her and agree with everything she says. Works for me! Are you seriously happy just parroting whatever she says? I just can't deal with all this female testosterone at the minute. God damn it. Honestly. Honestly, yeah. Hey, what you got there? 
See if you can guess. Hmm. What's this all about? I, um, tried to find your old shoes, but someone must have taken them from the bin. Wait, you went through a bin? Braver than me. My cousin went through a bin once, got bitten by a bin rat, almost had to amputate his arm. Turns out it was just eczema, but better safe than sorry, right? Right, right. So what changed your mind? I... I realise um, that it's not necessarily the most ethical thing to do when you force everyone to be ethical about everything all the time. <laughs> so meat lovers pizza back on the menu then? Actually no, I felt great after my last vego meal. Really? Mm. Yeah, you don't have to go vego just because of me. Might even go vego a couple times a week. It's not because of you, I want to. Good for you. Thanks. Hey babe, how'd you get on? Yeah, not great. It's really? like I'm the only queer person at this school. Guess you never saw Ed's music video then. Is that meant to be an insult? Oh, come on. It's, it's just a joke. Actually, it was pretty offensive. Oh, like everything else I say, whatever. Okay, books open, mouth shut. Stefan, can you sit down? You can sit here if you like. Must be another STI. <laughs> Do us all a favour and shut up for once. <laughs> Are you coming back in or...? I can't. Sorry. Well, it's either come to class or keep walking all the way to the principal's office. Yes, I just don't feel well, okay? I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm sorry. Hey. Pretty weird about Saffron. Yeah, she's not been well. I saw the way you two looked at each other. She looked totally freaked out. I don't know what you mean. No one likes a bully. Like I would. <sighs> you seem to get off on it. Really? Yeah. I know what you did to Ingrid. You have no idea what's going on between me and Saffron. Between? Oh, you need to come to one of Celeste's meetings. I will tear your head off. Nah, that's her job. Why don't you just tell us what's going on? Because you wouldn't understand. Oh, hey, yo! Looks like your girl's got her eyes set on someone else. Stop it. What did you say? No. Yeah, you better listen to your little girlfriend. At least I still got one. Shh. Saffron say something? No. Ruby did. That was nothing. Hey, it's not my fault, Stop all right? Stop it. <laughs> What's the deal? What? Racing out like that. Just felt sick. Mm. I was going to apologise, you know, for last night. It's OK. No, it's not. You were right. You shouldn't be hiding stuff like that from each other. Forget about it. You never pretend like nothing happened. Look, I've got to go. Nah, you promised me. <laughs> you promised me you'd always be honest. Check this out. Oh, shut up, bro. I have been. You have been. Yeah, how long has it been going on? It's not like that. <laughs> Ruby's been telling everyone what a skank you are. She's not wrong. Ruby and Saffron. Verified. Am I living in some parallel universe or something? She made my life hell. It's not uncommon with homophobes. But Ruby. Careful, she likes when you say her name. Or so I've heard. <laughs> might have actually just made my week. Priceless. What are you doing? Telling people. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> oh, and you're okay with this? Mm -hmm. Two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, come on, it's Ruby. She's probably doing the whole performative lesbian thing to impress some guy. She's right, it is Ruby. No, you don't know that. I don't actually care. What do you think the point of the LGBT club is? Free chips. Free chips. Try to be sensitive, okay? She needs our support. So would anyone who's hooked up with Ruby. That's exactly what I mean. Hey. How are you doing? I'm really sorry you had to go through that. It's all right, mahogany's not for everyone. You shouldn't be ashamed. You know, it's your body. You can be with whoever you like. Even if it is loose fur. It's a joke. 
You've lost your talking privileges. Go away. I shouldn't have dragged you into this. But you didn't. I can make my own decisions. So, you and Ruby got something going on? Why did you hear that? From her. <laughs> oh, oh, Saf. I'm sorry. <laughs> You really let Saffron have it. Oh? No. She's probably somewhere crying. Good. And you don't want to go sort it out? <sighs> Why bother? Something's just messed up. You know, it's not very healthy to keep this stuff bottled up. <sighs> yeah, you'd know. <clears throat> don't worry. I'm not going to top myself just because my girlfriend goes with someone else. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on. That's good. You know, it didn't make sense to me before, but I get why Saffron ditched you now. So Ruby just showed up? Even after you asked her to leave you alone? Yeah, I was getting dressed for bed. It was awkward. It's not awkward, it's harassment. What? Saffron, you had one moment with her, and now for weeks she's pursued you. How many times have you actually told her no? Maybe she's trying to be romantic or something. By gate crushing your date at the golf course. I remember. I could tell there was something weird going on. Well, I shouldn't have advertised what I was doing on social media. You shouldn't have to worry about that. And then there's your youth group. And then showing up at the doctor's just when you and Heidi were there, guaranteeing she'd find out. That was a coincidence. Was it? She sent me flowers after that. Did you want her to? No. Sounds like you've told her no a hell of a lot. She just isn't getting it. What am I supposed to do? You've got to tell someone. What, I'll make a huge deal out of it? Saffron, it is a huge deal. She makes it so uncomfortable for you, you can't even be in class. I don't know. I can help you. I promise. It'll be fine. I promise. Got this, okay? Just go to the bathroom and take it off. Why should I? Because it's an inch thick and you don't want detention. Oh, whatever. Veronica. Make it quick, Celeste. This isn't about the LGBT club. Then... Are you feeling better, Saffron? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Look, girls, I've got soup waiting for me in the microwave, so... Don't tell me your lunch is more important than this. Excuse me? You don't have to stay. Yeah, I know, but I want to. Well, what is that? Um, the other day, I, I... I left my notebooks on the bus, so um, I'll need more time with the assignment. Sorry. It's not due till Monday. Miss, no, wait. That's all. Girls, I need to eat. What are you doing? It didn't feel right. Well, then we'll go talk to her in an office somewhere. Somewhere quiet. Just want to forget about it. And let Ruby get away with it. What about the next girl? What Ruby did was wrong. She pressured and then she stalked you. Sorry. Saf! Reckon she's our next victim? Be careful. Why? You weren't there. I know exactly what she's been doing. Do you things like this get twisted all the time? You're seriously gonna stand there and defend Ruby harassing Saffron? I just don't know if it's your place to intervene. You're right. It's actually my responsibility. You have to stand up to this type of behaviour. Girl power. She's right. Fine. Wouldn't you have wanted someone to intervene when she made your life a nightmare? It's so three days. The parents are away. I know, but they're really good friends with my neighbours. I just feel like they're tough. It would be really quiet. No, no, seriously. Oh, come on, it was surprise, so fun. Surprise, surprise. You don't know how to take no for an answer. <laughs> What you going on about now? Saffron? What about her? You know, I really don't. Just let me talk to you in private. Get out of my face. That's rich. No, seriously, you're really starting to get oh, on my nerves. Oh, it's not nice, is it? Being harassed? Excuse me? It's what you've been doing to Saffron. You're crazy. So what do you call showing up at someone's house late at night? A booty call. Could do without the man's place. Oh, here we go. I am not going to apologize for caring. And I'm not in the mood for another crusade. This is, this is ridiculous. Not even your Darrow boyfriend wants to listen to you. 
Pretty pathetic. Hey, Saf. Look, she's absolutely terrified of you. Is this the way it's gonna be then? You'll say anything to keep her happy? Just let me fix this. Sorry, please. Thought so. You're all a bunch of psycho snowflakes. You lot just don't quit, do you? It's true then. No? I don't mean the harassment or whatever. Never happened. Something did though, didn't it? <laughs> it's funny, is it? I just think it's weird how the universe works sometimes. I'm not gay. Never said you were, and honestly that's your business. <laughs> so what, why are you here then? I just get what it's like, that's all. <laughs> Lucky me. Oh, you don't have to lash out. I'm not. Look, you're lucky. At least you got the girl. Even if only for five minutes. Excuse me while I go throw up. You can't help who you like. Yeah, or who you hate. Oh. <sighs> Look at her, so smug. Coming from you. She doesn't deserve to be the captain. Oh, like it matters. She's supposed to be a role model for the younger students. So? So all it takes for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing. All right, then put it back. Why are you defending her? You're just making things worse. Stop. Explain to me why you feel the need to deface school property. I wasn't. I kind of caught you red-handed, didn't I? Actually, it was my doing, miss. I was Shut trying up. to raise awareness. Oh, go on, this will Shut be good. Shut up. I will not be silenced by you. That is enough. That's a week's detention for the both of you. But miss. Starting tonight. Miss, I am the LGBT club. Shut up, thanks a lot. Miss. I've got to go and deal with something. Don't go anywhere. Are you happy now? We wouldn't be here if you'd told Veronica the truth. I was doing Saffron a favour, I'm sorry you couldn't see that. You just love to brush things under the carpet, don't you? Are you just saying that because I'm not turning this into some kind of personal quest? Do you care about anything? Yes, obviously. Just not LGBT rights? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? What, just because I didn't come to your protest? And the club. What, I'm not allowed to miss a couple meetings? Were you missing all of them lately? You're always talking about diversity, respect and tolerance. Yeah, because they're important issues. Who do you respect? Not me, not Saffron, and certainly not Brayden. I respect people who deserve it. You can't even listen to someone who has a different opinion to you. That's not tolerance. Diversity isn't just about having a different skin colour, it's about having different attitudes too. Not everyone's going to think the same as you and they never will. Do you have any friends? Do you think Veronica's coming back? Celeste? Probably, yeah. Are you upset about what I said? Why would I be? You sound like everyone else. I didn't mean to. Yeah, you did. You meant everything you said. I mean, it kind of proves my point though, right? <laughs> you can dish it, but you can't take it. <laughs> wow. Okay, that sounded harsher than I meant it to. Ever since I got here, all I've tried to do is help you. Me? The queer community. But no one asked you to. They didn't have to. If I seem angry or speak up, it's because I am angry. Look at everything you had to deal with. From Ruby and your family. That's not right. Yeah, but that's my problem. But it shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to suffer on your own. That's why we need to stick together. As queer girls. Exactly. Push back against oppression and misogyny and harassment. Don't let girls be pressured. Shame you didn't move here six months ago. Yeah, well, I still had friends then. Is that really it? No one talked to me. I fell for the wrong girl, and that was it. Outcast. Othered. I'm really sorry that happened to you. 
We want the same things, don't we? And what's that? To be ourselves, to be free, without worrying what people think or what people are going to do. I guess. I really thought I could do it on my own. But I just can't. Hey. It's too hard. It's all right. Come here. I wish I was more like you. <laughs> Shut up. No, really. If I just had 5% of the courage <laughs> you have. <laughs> You're beautiful as you are. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the other day as well. Why? What makes I don't you know. say that? All that stuff about Ruby just seems a bit sus, to be honest. Huh. Took you long enough. Look, what can I say? I'm a bit slow on the uptake sometimes. But just say I'm forgiven. Okay. Say I'm forgiven. Okay. Say I'm okay. forgiven. Okay, you're forgiven. Say I'm... Ingrid! Hey! Uh, hey, uh, if you wanted to get really, like, make it up to me, you could get me a drink from the vending machine. I've got water in my bag, uh, cheap and yes, healthy. Yes, that's good, Brayden, but also I need some caffeine. So don't worry about it. I'll get you one. <coughs> but I haven't even, you know, had the chance to say hello or chat to you about... I don't mind. You've got your hands full. Jeez, babe, what should you do to get in her good books, eh? Ingrid. We should probably stay away from each other, don't you reckon? Definitely. I just wanted to make sure you were okay with that. I just can't trust the two of you at all, can I? What? Whispering. Come on. Spill the beans. What are you talking about? It's about Heidi, isn't it? What? Knew mm. it. I don't know anything. What do you two think you're doing? It's our break. Not when there's a room full of books that need organising. There's no right to make us do this. It's slave labour. It's called punishment for a reason. I guess it's not so bad. I'm stuck here with you, so. Probably best to just do what she says and get on with it in silence. Sure. Unbelievable that they make us study this rubbish, brainwashing us with patriarchal nonsense. Can we please just get this over and done with? Have you been doing those by author? Isn't that the general idea? No, you're supposed to do them alphabetically. <laughs> Whatever. You, how could you make such a stupid mistake? Good question. Just leave it. Maybe Veronica won't even notice. <sighs> you're not meant to get up. Just give it to me. Oh, I don't know. You two be in the closet. Did you want something? Um, yeah. Could we have a couple of minutes? We have to finish this. Oh, that's so lame. <sighs> All right, well, don't do anything I wouldn't do then. Like read? Yeah. You know what? This place is perfect for a sneaky little sesh. You just imagine being stuck under the one roof in duty, 100 girls sharing, eating, sleeping together. I mean, yeah. Pretty cool necklace, eh? Pretty schmink. Do you know what it means? Yeah, of course. Yin, yang, just that, 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 that type of stuff, huh? And? And black, white circles. It was Ingrid, wasn't it? She picked it out. Yeah, but I paid for it. It's the thought that counts, Brayden. Well, yeah, but I asked her opinion and... So this whole time you have been lying to me? I was just... 
trying to be romantic. Yeah. Yeah, I should have known. Later, yeah. Where's your girlfriend? Detention. Where's yours? Lydia is... we're more casual. You know, she's not really the clingy type. What about the, uh, muso? You know? Oh. Two chicks on the go, though. You should be wrapped. Yeah. You know what your problem is? Go on, then. This'll be good. You're going out and you're trying to have too many flings. You need to go out and find the one. Oh, and I suppose you've done just that. Shut up. You would love to get into Celeste's pants if you could. I think the relationships require a little bit more than just physical attraction. Yeah, I know. Are you in love? No. Oh, my God. Congratulations. When's the wedding? No, no, no. Never. Never oh, happening. I'll be sure to tell her that. Then. No, don't. Oh, ne God, do not tell her. Get love. off. Oh, my God. You're so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> hey. I'm glad. Shows that there really is someone out there for everyone. You don't want to fix us up some snags, do you? Hey. Um, I was just wanting to try and clear the air. Okay, go for it. Right, well... Obviously, something really weird happened between us the other day. And I think we're both mature enough to talk about it. I couldn't agree with you more. Great. So, firstly, Brayden can never find out about this. Agreed. And secondly, us, you and me, a nightmare. Because you're all like this and I'm more chill and you're more confident and out and I'm more like... Did you pick this out? Brayden got you that. Yeah, but you chose it, didn't you? Yeah, so? So every time he has said something offensive or immature or both, I could at least think, gee, underneath all that, there is actually a sensitive person there. He is sensitive. But he doesn't get me. He never did get me. I get the feeling that every beautiful thing he's ever done is because you told him to. That's between you guys. Admit it. Ever since you and me first met, there's been this thing between us. Because you annoy the life out of me. Feelings mutual. We're very different people. Yin and yang, maybe. Stop. <laughs> 